hello 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 and welcome back to another reaction video and yes we're back with another chelsea Adonis. trying to get get him get his input on what he think about the whole diddy situation i mean i have other inputs on it too but i want to sit up there and co-sign with him about the same situation because he pretty much have the same viewpoint that i do pretty much and plus on top of that i'm pretty sure he's gonna fry his ass so <laughs> i'm here for the i'm here for him to get cooking on diddy right now because diddy's on my ticked off list and probably on everybody else's ticked off list so yeah why not just join the club with chisel donna so without further ado we're gonna get it make sure you subscribe like and comment whatever you may feel like let's get it all right so boom let's talk about the diddler p diddy himself did he do it did he done it did he did it did he hit it did he quit it he did all them things he did all them things but let me straighten this out let's see here bam get this lined up like so all right and we're good Diddy's finished because evidently we just saw footage released. I can't post it here, but I'll leave it in the top pin comment because you know YouTube's gonna take it down. Where back in 2016, yeah, yeah, in an LA it. hotel, P. Diddy assaulted his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, then pulling her down to the ground and proceeded to kick her numerous different times while dragging her now towards the hotel room and then proceeded to throw a bunch of different things in her direction. Might I add, a couple of months ago, P. Diddy's house was raided in california and exactly. this man has since been nowhere to be found to Some be people found say they spotted him in miami other people said they spotted him elsewhere but one way or another nobody knows where p diddy just so happens to be at the moment but i will say this much i don't even know where yet even though we are seeing videos surfacing up and everything and to go ahead and to you know reiterate what he's about to say or either what he you know or what he just said recently <sighs> oh my god there's some more allegations that's going on out there i don't even know if he's going to cover that or not but there's more allegations that's coming out they're surfacing up right now as we speak and it's not even looking that great for him anymore because it's like looking like it's it's going from like bad to worse type situation like always you know when you're trying to go on the run and everything like that i mean come on man come on diddy come on man like some people say you know i i, I thought some people was riding with him and everything they're not really rocking with him they they disgusted now got young mommy sitting out here unfollowing him meek bill unfollowing him as far as what i've done seen like that happened like earlier today you know people have been surfacing about some about some they've been unfollowing diddy they probably some other people that have been don't all follow him honestly i don't know what significance that plays a role in when you unfollow somebody and everything like that but i'm like it's it's, it's just at the end of the day it's just social media so i don't know the whole young mommy thing the that thing yeah that part i can get I can get where she coming from with that because of the fact that, you know, she's like somewhat involved with the stuff that's going on and everything like that. And then there was like some words going around that she actually, she's actually like back with the ex-boyfriend or something like that. I don't know. We don't know for sure. I don't, only thing I know is she unfollowed Diddy. A few other people unfollowed Diddy. And it's like, it's crazy. Like, all this stuff is surfacing up. It's like some more stuff. I'm pretty sure it's some more stuff. So let's let's continue. Yeah, that's that's all happened today, and it's disgusting to be honest. This man is finished. He's been an absolute tyrant. Let's talk about the footage that was since released first. 
People are asking, well, why is it that they released the footage now? P. Diddy paid fifty thousand. He paid fifty thousand dollars to get for. access to this footage, so it would not be released to the public. First and foremost, the individuals who just so happen to be receiving that payment of fifty thousand, I think you should have those people's names released to the public. They should be held to the court of public opinion, of course, because uh, given it's been eight years, I think in the state of California, it's passed the statute of limitation, so they can't uh, charge P. Diddy with assault, despite the fact that you've seen it um, on camera. But one way or another, the oh, people that's who crazy. collaborated that, with oh. him to get the security surveillance footage into his hands, they should be brought to the forefront so the populace can now go and say whatever they would like to say to those individuals. Because you are a heinous human being to watch something like that go down on the security footage and then receive payment in order to go and say, ah, you know what? We'll sweep this under the rug. You're a terrible human being. Furthermore, you have to consider what kind of demon P. Diddy just so happens to be to where you would run down a hotel floor in a towel. Nobody knows if he actually has underwear under on, on, on <laughs> underneath. This man ran full speed down the hallway yes. testing his 40 yard dash shades of xavier worthy just to go beat up a woman trying to escape if he's willing to do this in public in public what do you think this man is capable of doing in private exactly. damn near everything anybody has ever said about p diddy throughout all of the years spanning damn near 30 years has come to be true terrible human being and it's not even like this is a situation where people didn't know this has been at the forefront for years but because man's is ultra successful, people just swept it under the rug. How many times yep. have you seen P. Diddy talking at a damn conference? Maybe receiving some sort of, some sort of award. There's a reason why we call it Holly Weird. Because no matter how public people got all this shit going down, somehow it gets excused. Because they're so good at what they do. You're so good at it what they do. comes a point where we got to look at the populace like, yo, what's wrong with y'all? Because how are people so shocked? That this is going down as it pertains to Pete Diddy, bro. It's crazy, man. It's how crazy. Much skeletons this man probably got in his closet. How much dildos he got in his closet? That's neither here nor there. Think about <laughs> yeah, when he go first there. came up. Damn near everybody around him who was with him when he first came up, they all dead. Andre Harrell, he dead. Heavy D, he dead. Kim Porter, she dead. Biggie, he dead. Like how many times? Shine done went to prison. How many different situations do you have to see? Where P. Diddy, it's he's just a terrible human being, bro. <sighs> yeah, you brought up a good, valuable point on that. I, thanks, Adonis. Thanks for that viewpoint. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna assume that he had something to do with all those, but it's not far fetched. I give you that, Adonis. It's not far fetched. Especially the whole, especially now everybody is is kind is speculating. Yeah, he had something to do with Diddy. I meant with um with Biggie. He had something to do with Biggie. They definitely had something. Thinking they definitely think that he had something to do with Tupac. But don't nobody can point the finger and see if he actually had a had any type of you know dealings with that. But like I said. Just like Adonis said, he quoted Holly Weird. You know, it's just crazy. Like, anybody can come off and do anything. Think it's going to be swept under the rug. It's not going to, they're not going to find out and everything. Just like that whole, just like the whole Epstein thing. They thought all that was not going to find, well, not going to come out. And I'm like, you're weird, bro. Like, you're weird. Like, I've heard of him here and there, but I don't follow you know, the Epstein thing or whatever, but apparently it's been been a big thing going on and it's, it's weird and it's sickening. It really is. At this point, it's like shades of R. Kelly, but on a different sort of situation. Yep. And it might just mess around and be the same situation, just in a more expanded spot. You see <laughs> people come around Pete Diddy, all of a sudden you want to praise him because they getting a stipend, young Miami, I'm talking to you. You see countless different rappers, entertainers come around P. Diddy. Weird shit done happen and go down now. Nobody want to speak about it. Meek Mill silent. Justin yep. Bieber might have been taken advantage of time and time again, but of course he ain't got too much to say. He's silent. Yep. How many people 
who's so close and associated with this man refuse to say anything. Now, don't get me wrong. If that's your boy, that's your friend, and you want to, you know, take things to the grave, you got to deal with that's the you. creator when the time does come because you want to stay silent. But let's call it what it is. Anybody of integrity, if you know your boy or you know your girl doing some serious dirt, there comes a point where you got to say enough is enough. I can't just keep trying to show face publicly with a motherfucker. You got people exactly. who've been hanging with this dude for like 20, 30 some years. When they get questioned, yo, did you know this stuff was going down? Nah, I had no clue. You at every party. What you talking about? This man probably sodomizing people, bruh. What part of the game is this? Ain't now, no telling. Problem. He's fled. Nobody knows where he's at. Don't know I where he is. I won't say this much. P. Diddy got a shit ton of bread. Tens of millions. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Right? Could they pull a Kanye situation, freeze and uh, um, freeze his assets to where he can't get access to hundreds of millions of dollars? Perhaps. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure he kind of seen something like this coming. Probably cashed out, has a whole boatload of physical money that he can go and utilize elsewhere. But I will say this much. P. Diddy been in the limelight for well over 25 years at this point. Yep. He lived and lives a particular kind of lifestyle. As many of us, if we were in this situation, could kind of go low key, kind of avoid, you know, the public, whatever the case may be. But we don't live that kind of life. This man's no. been living a life of luxury for a quarter century. It's yep. only a matter of time before you get that itch to go and do it once more. He could hide out in one of those locations where they can't extradite him back to the United States. But it's only a matter of time before he wants to be in the limelight again. <laughs> this is a dude who is in front of cameras left and right. Dancing all up in the videos and all that other shit. Yep, you can't forget, can't forget about that. He's always dancing in other people's videos, dancing in his own videos. It's like it's a stigma to him. Like he just got to have, just like you couldn't have put it better, no better than what you just put it, Adonis. He got that itch, you know. You just be like, oh, I got to sit up there and just do, man, bro. Like honestly, I think he need help. He needs help. And flat out just need to repent. He need to, re, you know, he needs to do both of them. Hopefully and maybe, maybe people will forgive him. Maybe. I doubt that's going to happen. But people should do that because that's what the good book says. But we'll see. You think he wants to live in isolation and solitude? Hell no, he won't. So it's only a matter of time before he messes around and misses steps and they mess around and catch him up, bro. And he going to be spending all kinds of time behind bars when they catch him. Yes. Now, granted, if he's in a spot where they can't come get him, best believe they might just mess around and pull a 50 cent on the track. Because I get tired of looking for you, spray your mama crib and let your ass look for me. Checkmate, they got your bitch ass. I will say this much. There's too many people that I see saying, well, uh, why are they doing this to P. Diddy now? Why they don't do this to the other people? You think he's the only one involved? Of course not. Nope. Of course not. There's probably people who he was in cahoots with for years who had insulated himself to where now he's the fall guy. But that doesn't... Oh. Oh. ...doesn't take away from the fact that he's still a terrible person. Of course there's probably higher-ups that have yet to be named or identified just yet. Absolutely. Their time will possibly come down Their the time line. time will come. But let's They'll go come. piece by piece from where we are right now. Get rid of P. Diddy. Take that man to justice. <laughs> Got A.B. on the head. <laughs> Cuba, what do you see to your fans? How many different things have to come out about P. Diddy for y'all to continually make excuses for him? So I, 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 need, I need answers. Because what level of integrity do you guys operate by? And I'm talking to the people who are still defending this man. His son dropped a whack-ass diss, uh, diss track uh, um, towards 50 Cent. They're wet. Now look yep. at you. Footage done been dropped. That's obviously him. This ain't AI. It's not like AI wasn't around in 2016, but that's clearly P. Diddy. Get out there. I never get Damn. out there. All jokes aside, in closing, I'll say this. I'll never understand. And then, that, and then to add on to that whole... Um, that diss track or whatever like that i ain't even hear it but apparently um it was covered by um the people i listen to um the breakfast club it was covered by them 
they said they actually heard him heard him actually said that said something about they didn't find what they were looking for and and the house that they raided it was in like another house or whatever like that some people was like looking like why the hell would you say that on this track i said i don't know like why would you say some dumb shit like that if it was something serious or a, like some other information or or evidence that goes around and everything like that why would you say it's not in that house it's at another house why would you say that like he's so i don't know like i said this generation is so so randomly cooked and fried and double dipped in oil it's not even funny because it's like why would you do some mess like that why would you say it you know you you know the house got raided but then you turn around oh in the district oh well it's another house no they're going to take that for credibility because they already had started doing that now you know using um artists um lyrics against them and everything like that a part of that has been you know is part of that is in the why YS, ysl case that's going on right now that's still kind of kind of in the works i'm thinking it's about done but i don't know for sure but they've been doing it with that case what makes you think they're not going to be doing it for any other cases so he need to watch he need to, i think that's probably why he ain't make no more diss tracks well for one he just needs to just stay out of there and he just shouldn't even just direct that diss track 250 because fifth like was basically chuckling it up and everything like that and him retaliating with a track of his own is not even really needed really Understand why people who had been able to amass such a high level of success continually find themselves doing absolute tomfoolery, whether that be violence, whether that be uh, money laundering, whether that be trafficking, whether that be any crime under the sun that would land you behind bars and uh, obviously tarnish your public image. I can't seem to wrap my mind around it because when you got into the game, the whole goal was to amass enough finances, riches, and build wealth to where you would do, be able to do whatever Thank the you. fuck you want. But evidently, power corrupts. And the moment that you get to that level, now you think you can do whatever the fuck you want without consequence. And, and that's crazy. Diddy, there's consequences for your actions, you stupid motherfucker, you. And when they catch your ass, everything you done did to everybody else gonna come right back to you and you might just enjoy it given some of the things that you know they've been said about you but one way or another put your motherfucking head back down stupid somebody call the authorities and if the authorities can't find them i know one man who can chris <laughs> here comes the united states champion chris benoit of course chris of course chris will find him oh my god boy Thanks, Adonis. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that insight. I mean, like I said, this this mess is getting real messy. You're getting too messy right now. So, I mean, I was rooting for Diddy in the first beginning. I'll be like, yeah, maybe he wasn't that bad. Maybe he didn't do this or whatever. But now all this stuff is coming up. House got raided. Ever since the house done got raided and everything, I'm like, yeah, this is yeah this is not good <laughs> not good for you and now the video came out him assaulting cassie and everything and like yeah you are enemy number one right now and now it's like some more cases are coming up now so you know bro i don't know like i said he need he needs to repent he needs to just go ahead and just let everything go whatever like that he's trying to he's trying to say that he he's in a rough patch or whatever like that okay if that's the case seek help get some type of help or whatever like that because if you don't seek help and you don't sit up there and try to make that initiative or whatever like that that means you'd like to do it that means you are that you know like adonis said you are that demon that's rolling around in in the you know doing crazy stuff in the public you are the actual image of that so i don't know man i don't know let me know what y'all find what y'all feel like in the comment section because 
I mean, it's obvious how everybody else is feel. I just want to know what my community feels like because I'm just crazy. This is just this is crazy about Diddy. I never thought that with him. Maybe probably like 10 years ago, maybe it was kind of eh. But now it's like full circle. It's like, psh, yeah, he, he's, he's, way, he's way in that weird shit. So other than that, comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hopefully there's nothing else turned up on Diddy no time soon. <laughs> I hope not. But if it is, I mean, we already know. It's it's going to be crazy. Other than that, see y'all in the next video. Peace.